So I need to get to my carburetor, and in order to do that, I need to remove the tank. And the first step in removing the tank is to be sure that your petcock is either on the on or the reserve position so that when you disconnect the fuel line from the carburetor, it won't leak out. The fuel line as it goes into the carburetor has this little kind of like clippy clamp so you squeeze it to loosen it and then slide it up. And then from there you just pull it off the carburetor and have a nice little bowl next to you just to kind of catch the drips as it comes off. And then once that's drained out go ahead and reach for your bigger one, your bigger container and switch the petcock over to prime to drain the rest of the gas out of the tank. And to keep it from dribbling um, like I did, um, shake the hose a little bit inside the container um, before taking it out of the container. And then go ahead and put the petcock back on the on or reserve position to prevent more the, the what's left in the tank from draining out. Now I'm going to go to the other side of the bike and disconnect the speedometer cable. This is big thick cable here attached to the engine. I'm going to get a pair of pliers just to start it out. And then it just pulls right out. It's kind of like this long, narrow tapering cable. It's kind of interesting. Sorry, this is my first time doing this, so it's kind of an exploration for me as well. So the next step after this is to disconnect the vacuum hose from the carburetor. There it is right in there. Um, I'll have a better picture of it coming up um, shortly. Um, it's kind of that one right there with the coil wrapped around it and it has a butterfly clip on it that's um, keeping it connected. So with the butterfly clip, it's the clip that you don't really squeeze together. Um, you actually separate it to loosen the clip. So I've used a pair of needle nose pliers to stick in there and spread it apart to loosen the clip and then slide it up. And because I don't have the greatest hand strength, um, I'm going to go ahead, once I get this clip up, use a pair of pliers to get a good grip on that hose at the end of the carburetor there and um, just kind of gently squeeze and, and tug until it pops off. And then I'm going to go ahead and push that through to the other side so that it doesn't get hung up when I lift the tank off. And once I get that over to the other side, my next step is going to be to loosen the handlebars. I'm just going to kind of just loosen them a bit so I can move them out of the way so that when I'm lifting up the tank, it doesn't, um, the tank doesn't hit it or, or get hung up on it. There are um, little plastic chrome covered covers on these bolts on the handlebars, and you can just pop those off with like a flat, um, a flat screwdriver. And then once I've got those loosened up, I'm going to head to the base of the tank and loosen those bolts. And once they're, those are loose, I'm going to go ahead and lift up the tank here. And what I'm going to find underneath is the electrical connection and the emissions cable on the California models. The non-California models won't have the emissions cable. The electrical clip, it was a little tough getting worked loose. It gets kind of stuck on there, but working it a little bit, it does just pop right off. And um, the emissions cable, same thing. It has one of those butterfly type clamps. Actually, this one you squeeze instead of separate. So you squeeze it and slide it up. And then once you do that, the two cables just pop 
um, off. They just come apart from each other. You just pull, tug a little bit. And voila, the tank is off.